Good afternoon, everybody. It is July 24th, 2022. The next update for the Super Tunia Vista window boxes. And, and as you can see, it's finally starting to bounce back because just a few weeks ago, all of these uh, Super Tunias, all of them were cut down significantly. Just a few weeks ago, you were able to see the actual box which comes about down to about right here. And you might recall in that video, if you haven't, you should watch it, where I trimmed the super tunias. I trimmed, at one point, they were touching these bushes down here from all the way up there, and I cut them all back to the bottom of the box, trimmed up the top a little bit, and got all behind there and went down the whole box. And this box is 72 inches long. It was, it was a lot of work. It took about uh, four hours to cut everything up. But here we are. I removed about 80% of the growth and it's doing as good as it ever has. I'm now doing the Bloom Booster Fertilizer Every Third Watering by Miracle Grow. And we'll see how that works out. I just started a few days ago. So you can see, even after this cut, you just look up in there and there looks to be hundreds of flower buds, hundreds of them everywhere that are gonna come up, everywhere. So I'm excited to see how good this can look because I've heard proven winners say they actually grow even better after you do the midsummer cut. So we'll see about that. As you can see, still have a long way to go to get down there. We'll see how this goes. On to the Jazzberry and the Fuchsia over here on the railings. They look about the best they ever have and they've actually grown the most since the cut. I also did not cut off as much as the bubble gums. So that's another reason why. But nonetheless, they're looking pretty good right now. Lots of green growth. Lots of flower buds. I'm now spraying preventatively every week with uh, a insecticide against caterpillars because a couple of these boxes before I trimmed them about a month ago had budworms. The, actually all of them besides the silverberries did. Here's the fuchsia. Um, things are not looking as great because yesterday we actually had a downpour and everything got drenched. So you can see if you come up closely here and you look at some of these leaves, what you're seeing right there and there, that's what it looks like when the super tunia flowers get a heavy drenching from a downpour and it damages them and they don't come back the same. Here's what they look like up top. They're mounding like crazy. Pretty soon I'll have to get out the, the bamboo sticks again and push the growth forward so I can easily water them. There's a bee in there that's getting some, getting some pollen. We're gonna go down there and check out the paradise. So the paradise still really perform well. They have a large concentration of flowers that kind of reminds me of how the bubble gums are, and they grow aggressively like the bubble gums. This also had, this plant also had budworms on it a few weeks ago. And, you know, still need to wait a couple more weeks, really see how things fill in here. Doing a lot of bloom booster fertilizer as well. And it got some damage yesterday from the downpour. But still looks great. 
So now the next one here, the silverberry. I think the silverberry again has the highest concentrated cluster of flowers out of all of them. It's just how it is. It looks really good. As you can see up there, it still has to mound a little more. But pretty soon, in the next probably two to three weeks, you're gonna see it piling up all up there. It'll be spilling over even more. And you know, you can still see the size of the boxes, which as you remember from the other videos, once they really start growing like this one more, you won't even see the boxes or the corbels anymore. So that'll be it for this update video here. As we're getting into the last week of July now, we're gonna have another, uh, say five weeks of really intense temperatures all the way up until the end of August. Things will start to cool off by the beginning of September. And who knows, I might have to cut it one more, might have to trim them down one more time by then. <laughs> Cause I think in the next month, they'll be touching. But they look great, especially from this angle. Anyway, so that'll be it for this update video. And I look forward to next weekend. All right, thank you.